So look, I'm a casual MMA fan in terms of like, I don't watch most fights. I can't get invested in them. I only watch like one out of 10 cards. I, I can only like really, because I, it's just a personality thing. It's also like hardcore fans are oftentimes like, oh, I'm hardcore, but it's like, nah, dude, you're just addicted. There is an argument to be made of like, a lot of it is a waste of time. It's better to just be invested in the more exciting fights that have more of a story behind them. Regardless of the whole discussion, I'm willing to admit that I'm a casual fan, but dude, don't ever associate associate me with any of the like these these guys in this comment section right here bro i had to make this clip all these people that are like mpc just like submissive to whatever dana says and then the greatest ufc fighter of all time shows up to yell at you bro this is this glaze is crazy dude like he's not gonna suck your dick to like let it go i mean he might it depends on whether or not he's with his boyfriend at the time. But like chances are honestly, like none of us are ever even gonna meet this guy, all right? He barely like does any media or any of that stuff. And even if you do run into him somehow, he's not like, you know, juicing up in the bathroom or whatever, you actually manage to find him. There's not much of a, of a point in like, oh, let me take a picture with, let me like get invested. Let me make a connection, like see if I can become friends with this guy. Let me get his contact or like do some business. It's like, there's a really strong possibility, you know, not like a hundred percent or anything, but like there's a real solid possibility more with him than like most other guys that like he's gonna end up like locked up for like 15 years or something like that for uh, you know some another driving incident or like you know beating up his wife and kids for like the 15th time in a row one of these times they're like bound to take it seriously because he just keeps getting away with this stuff he keeps having no consequences for his actions so he, he's gonna get more and more reckless and like eventually one of these times they're just gonna get fed up and go like all right never mind let's just lock this guy up it's actually pretty stupid to like like try to oh haha ha, funny like gas this guy up as if like you should respect this guy or like should be afraid of him i mean you you should you could be afraid of john jones the way you'd be afraid of a rapist actually you should that's exactly how you should be afraid of him like like precisely how you should be afraid of him the way you're afraid of a rapist but like respecting him calling him the goat goat for a reason there's literally a million reasons he's not the goat and by the way let me make it clear like i'm 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 a big fan of like the current roster of champions i like Ilya. i like drickus i like pejera i like tom aspinall the real heavyweight champion i've grown to you know i didn't like him at the, at the beginning of the year but over time it's like all right the fight game he's got it down when people like rank their like pound for pound like best in the world right now they usually they put him at like number 10 or something like that they'll put like drickus above him which is like drickus just went to a like a pretty close decision with sean strickland earlier this year dude tom aspinall is cleaning out the division in terms of like just straight up dominance over the competition tom aspinall is up there at least top five pound per pound in the world right now the only guys he really hasn't beat are like there's a, there's a few guys in the top 10, and then there's people that are locked behind contracts. This one dude right here that's ducking him. I guess another dude that's in a different organization, right? But that's basically it. Oh, who wouldn't hand over like a, like it's like, why why is everyone like, we're all in agreement. We're, we're gonna, sub, we're a bitch to this guy. We're this guy's bitch. Like, dude, speak for yourself, bro. John Jones is not the GOAT. Uh, he will never be the GOAT. He might be the, you, if you wanna, have a different conversation. He could be the GOAT of being popped for PEDs. I'll give you that. He could be the GOAT of, technically he's undefeated against his wife. There's many accolades we can attribute to John Jones here. Honestly, there, there's no one better. Pound for pound, he is the best steroid ab abuser in the UFC. Like the hiding under the octagon for like the whole day, hiding from like USADA officials. Honestly, dude, it takes real dedication to be that much of a pussy if you really think about it like that's all that's i couldn't do it i would just hop out all right guys you got me i i, I can't i can't do this i just want to like fight i just want to spar dude i i can't hide for you guys from that long i'm telling you bro it, it couldn't have been easy the the road to dirty fighting and kicking people directly in the knees and and eye poking them and fighting fat middleweights while you're in light heavyweight and you're on the craziest steroids known to man it must have been a really hard journey and and no champion ever struggled the way he did and um props to him he deserves to be up there with the with like the greatest athletes like like Lance Armstrong in them, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to hop on and and just mention like I am a casual. Straight up I'm a casual. And people will call me that and I'll accept that. But don't ever associate me with one of these guys, bro. I'm not one of these guys.